well, here we are having a breather in the grounds of Monmouth Priory, a, a priory which was established by Benedictine monks in the 11th century. Yeah. And we're lucky to be joined by Dr. Maddy Gray, an expert in medieval history. Now, Steve, you're well familiar with this place because you were in school here, weren't you? Many years ago, well, since the 15th century. But when I was, uh, <laughs> when, when I was in school here, we were told this was the knight, that was the angel, and that was the miller. Right. And I've never... Um, I'm not, I'm not sure that I buy into that, you <laughs> see. I mean, what we're looking at is a splendid 15th century oriel window. I mean, I'm, I'm quite happy about the angel holding the royal arms of England, but by that day, I think a knight would have had a helm and not a chainmail coif. So I think that chap with the hood could be something completely different. I well, think uh, he really might exciting, be. This, yeah. I think he might be something called a beadsman which is a sort of professional sayer of prayers. You would get them to come along to your funeral, maybe, uh, yes. and people like quite often to. have them carved on their tombs. And this is what they look like in a long robe with a hood and, of course, yeah, with the beads that he's yeah. got round his neck. So, you know, I'm, I'm not sure about the knight. And I'm not oh. totally convinced about the miller either. No. I'm this is dreadful. Because this is if you look at him, I yes. mean, he's wearing a rather fashionable wow. lyripipe hat. Yes. Would a miller have had... I, 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 millers, never, I mean, never millers, millers were quite well off. <laughs> yes. But, you know, that's a sort of a yes. merchant's hat, really. I, mean, I wonder whether what we've got is the other way around. Not, you know, the rich man oh. there, the poor man there, oh. but the rich yes. merchant there, the angel in the middle, and the poor, the poor yeah, beadsman yes, there. Yes. But, I mean, what I think we're looking at, whatever way round it goes, we're looking at some really quite high quality building work, aren't we? Oh, yeah. In a priory where we're always told, you know, it was small, it was poor, they were in a financial mess by the end of the Middle Ages. But quite obviously, if you look at the buildings, they weren't. No, no, no. There's a story about that window as well, isn't there? Yeah. Because to, to, to everyone, that's Geoffrey's window, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what's the big problem here? Well, there is a big problem. Perhaps you should tell us what it well, is. Well, the big problem is that the window is 15th century, uh -huh. which is what, 200 years after? About that, Jeffrey? yeah. Geoffrey? Yes. So, you know, the, the, the dates just don't add up. No, they don't. But one thing that we do know about mm. Geoffrey and can be confident of, he had a vivid imagination, oh, didn't he? <laughs> you were the greatest, uh, greatest novelist of the yeah, world. Absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, great uh, 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 and, he, and he wrote those wonderful stories about King Arthur, Indeed, didn't yes, he? Yes, yes. 